Good morning and welcome to Kehila Chari Torah's Omer Counting and Halacha Review for Tuesday, May 12th. Today is 33 days of the Omer. Hayom shlosha ushloshim yom shehem arba'a shavuos v'chamisha yamim la'omer. That's right, 33 is lag. Today is lag ba'omer. Uh, so uh, think about the uh, specialness of the day. Remember that this is the day when uh, the plague, which, which had been preying on Rabbi Kiva's students, stopped. Uh, the dying stopped. So please, God, in our times also, we should see lag ba'omer as a day of wonders and miracles. Uh, and everybody who's lacking health should have it in the fullest measure. We were speaking yesterday about uh, immersing in a mikveh, uh, toiling in a mikveh, to prepare oneself for yamtiv. Uh, so uh, Rabbi Mordechai Eliyahu gives some interesting uh, kavanas, kavanot, uh, interesting intentions, what, one, what, what a person should have in mind when immersing in the mikveh. Here's what he says. One immerses in a mikveh eight times before the holiday. We're not talking about uh, getting in, getting out. We're talking about uh, eight, a series of eight dunks. Uh, keep in mind that this is one opinion. There are many w- different ways that people, uh, people uh, carry this out. One should intend that the first immersion is to purify oneself. The second one is to rectify the sin of anger. The third, fourth, fifth, and sixth are to repair blemishes uh, uh, that, we, that we've caused through our transgressions in God's name. The, the first one in God's name, which when spelled is numerically equivalent to 72, uh, the second one in God's name, which uh, when spelled out and the, uh, in a certain way equals 63. The s- third time, the n- way to spell Hashem's name, which adds up to 45 in gematria. And finally, the one that amounts to 52 in that order. Uh, and he says in a footnote that these are discussed at great lengths uh, by the Kabbalists. Of course, we don't pronounce any of the names uh, in the mikveh, but uh, those are the kavanas. He says the seventh immersion is to remove one's weekday spiritual garments, and the eighth immersion is to accept upon oneself the holiness of the holiday. Uh, all this in the name of the Kafa Chaim, which is a uh, halacha slash mystical sefer, I believe from the late 19th, early 20th century. Uh, someone who does not remember the entire list should s- simply immerse eight times and have in mind that my intentions are what it says in the sefer Kafa Chaim, or what my in- I'm intending what it says in the prayer books, uh, or a, even in this book. Okay, so we'll speak a little bit more about that uh, tomorrow. Tune in for that. Lagba Omer, spiritual guide for counting the Omer, 33 days, which are four weeks and five days of the Omer. On the Sphera combination chart in your sitter on page 286, today's Sphera combination is Hod Shabahod, humility within humility. Here's the spiritual insight of the day. Examine the humility of humility. Everyone has humility and modesty in his or her heart. The question is the measure and manner uh, in which one consciously feels it. Questions to ask, am I afraid to be too humble? Do I mask and protect my modesty with aggressive behavior? We should learn to cultivate our humility by interacting people who are even more refined than ourselves, evoking in us modesty and humility that motivates us to grow. Humility must also be examined for its genuineness. Is my humility humble, we ask ourselves, or is it yet another expression of arrogance? Do I take too much pride in my humility? Do I flaunt it? Is it self-serving? Is my humility part of a crusade, or is it genuine? Do I have expectations due to my humility? Uh, Exercise for the day, he suggests, be humble just for its own sake. Have a wonderful day.